Hey everybody, welcome back. This is Jen with Jenko Designs and before we get started uh, showing you how to do a quick capture and save in Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo, I want to do a quick shout out to my subscribers. Thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Uh, I really appreciate it. It really shows me that you're learning something and you enjoy my videos and that's the whole reason that I do them is to share what I've learned about this software and so that you can get to your creating a lot faster without struggling with the software itself. The second thing I'd like to do is an update on my course. I am creating a course for learning Affinity Designer. It's going to be a very complete and comprehensive course, which is why it's taken a little bit longer than I've planned. There are so many features packed into Affinity Designer, and as I un uncover them, I'm adding them into my videos and putting them into the course so that it's a very comprehensive course. So. It's in its final stages right now. My subscribers will be the first ones to know when I launch that uh, course, and I'll have some discount coupons available too. So go ahead and subscribe to my channel, and I'll let you know when that course is available. Should be very, very soon. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna show you a quick and easy way to capture and save portions of a design or a project, uh, an illustration, okay? We're gonna do that in Affinity Designer first and then we'll move over to Affinity Photo, okay? Now I'm gonna show you in a couple of different file formats. So this is a PNG file, okay, that I have open. Now PNG file, it loads it as all one layer, okay? Over in your layers panel, you see all one layer here, okay? So if you wanna capture something here, what we're gonna use is we're gonna use the export persona. So I don't know if, how familiar you are with Affinity Designer, but personas are located up here in the toolbar in the upper left-hand corner it defaults into the draw persona and then there's the pixel persona and we want to use the export persona okay so go ahead and click that it automatically defaults to the slice tool and you can see that over here in your tools panel on the left hand side so let's say we just wanted to capture this one infographic right here okay so we're just going to click and drag around the infographic you don't have to be perfect because you can adjust it a little bit okay now you'll notice in your layers panel over here, um, the layers panel the group actually has a slices panel now. Okay, so here's your layers panel and here's your slices panel. And it automatically creates what they call a slice. Okay, and if you click this down arrow here, you get some additional variables. Nine times out of 10, you're not gonna need these. Most of these are for if you're creating an application or something like that. It automatically does some codings and some things for you. I cover this a little bit more extensively in the course, but I just wanted to show you that's what that is. So we'll just go ahead and click this slice. Then we're gonna go ahead and hit the uh, little share button here. It'll bring up a uh, edit box for you to edit a name. Okay, we're just gonna call this info one and export okay give it a second and it exports it okay that's pretty much how that works we'll go ahead and open a new file just so you can see i'm just going to accept all the defaults here and then i'm going to place what we just made so go down to uh, go up to file and then down to place okay select info one from wherever you saved it And then using the place tool, you would just click and drag so you can automatically size it as you bring it in. And there it is. Okay, so let me, that's a PNG file. All right, so let's go to an EPS file, okay? Now an EPS file is a file that's created by Adobe Illustrator. If you'll notice, it's the same infographic, but over here in your layers panel, if you notice, it has some layers. When you do the EPS files, it, it does provide the layers. If you'll notice, they're um, a bit convoluted is what I'll say. Okay, everything's all separated out. If, if you were gonna try and capture a whole infographic, you would have a heck of a time trying to pick out all of the little pieces within all of these groups, okay? So the easiest way to do that is to do the capture and save. So we're gonna do the exact same process we did on the PNG file. Just gonna go to your export persona in the upper left-hand corner Use your slice tool from the tools panel. I'm gonna to come up here and select this infographic at the top. Draw your little square out. Click and drag your square. Okay, you're gonna do the same thing. It creates your slice over here in your slices panel on the right hand side. It allows you to export it. 
rename it and choose a destination for it. Okay. And then it of course does the same thing. If, then you click and drag and you've got your infographic. Okay, so you see how quick and easy this is. Now let me show you how it's done in Affinity Photo, okay? Okay, so we're just gonna quickly go, you have the, uh, the personas up in the upper left-hand corner. Uh, this of course starts with the photo and then you have the liquify, you have the develop, and then you have the tone mapping persona. Finally, you do have the export persona and it automatically defaults to your slice tool. Okay, so let's just go ahead and we'll take a slice of this rose photograph down here. Okay, go to your slices panel and your layers panel group. There's your slice. Okay, we're just gonna go ahead and hit the uh, share button. We're gonna call that rows two and then export that. Okay, you can see we'll go here. I already created a blank document. We'll go ahead and place that so you can see how easy it is to capture and save something. All right. And then you click and drag and you've got your capture okay so this is how you can quickly easy easily capture something maybe you got it off the internet maybe you bought something and it came as a ps file or a jpg or something so now you know how you can capture just portions of that and save it as another file to be able to use in your drawing or your your illustration so that was from a jpg file okay so now i'm going to show you a pdf file this is a PDF that I used, that I actually created in uh, Pages, which is the Mac version of similar to Microsoft Word, okay? So it's a word processing uh, program. I just copied and pasted it, these photographs in there. We're just gonna go ahead and do the same thing. We'll go to the export persona up in the uh, toolbar, use the slice tool from the tools panel, and we'll go ahead and select a section of that photograph. Okay, we have our slice here already in our slices panel on the right hand side. Again, we're doing the same thing. I'm just showing you how to do it in different file formats that you can use in all the different formats. Okay, so make this quick and easy. We can export that. Then we'll go to our blank form that we had before. And that's how easy it is to capture and save something, export it out of Affinity Photo and Affinity Designer, use it in another program, or use it in another illustration or uh, design or project that you've got going, okay? Again, thank you to all my subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great day, and happy creating.